All right, you made it to video seven. Good job. This video uh, is truly saving the best for last. So what I've done over the years is I've figured out how to combine my note investing with my tax-deferred, self-directed IRA, individual retirement account. It has been a powerful force which will allow me to retire in the lifestyle that I am living and what I'm accustomed to. Most people's retirement are going to look not so hot because they are looking to downsize their house, they're looking to downsize their income, they're looking to downsize the quality of food that they eat, they're downsizing the amount of travel and the amount of vacations that they're going to take. Uh, I want to do just the opposite. I don't want to downsize anything just because my age uh, has hit a retirement requirement. There's no reason why you can't retire with the lifestyle that you deserve. So what is a self-directed IRA? Why do only 2% of Americans use a self-directed IRA? Uh, why did the government actually get into that? I'll tell you about all these things. First of all, I'd like to tell you the government is giving you the best tax benefit in the, in the IRS code with a self-directed IRA. And yet, very few Americans know about this beautiful tax advantage. It's perfectly legal. It's the government's idea of us actually funding our own retirements. Uh, you know, the government used to have a big part in it. Corporations used to play a big part in it. And, uh, we've gotten away from that in, in the seventies. And they've put a lot of that burden onto you the worker and the one of the advantages that they gave us they said well, listen we need to give Americans a way to save their money tax-free and tax deferred until they get to be the age uh, mandatory age of 70 and a half to start making withdrawals from the retirement account with the code in in place at the irs.gov website, you can actually go and see what you are not allowed to invest in with your IRA funds. They won't tell you what you can invest in, but they'll tell you what you can't invest in. I'm not going to get into that here. I just want to tell you how I've been using my IRA to grow my wealth, my personal wealth, uh, in a very quick, short video right here that I'm going to give you right now. So. I quit my job in 2005. I had a 401k. I had some money stashed away in that 401k uh, through my contributions, my employer's contributions. I managed to get a nice little chunk of money together. I then rolled that over into what's called a self-directed IRA, and now I had access to those funds. I then started purchasing non-performing mortgages inside the IRA. It's, there's two different forms of income and uh, investment income that you have. You have money that's outside of your IRA. You have money that's inside of your IRA. Any purchases made through your IRA, the investments must stay inside that IRA. And so any funds that come in from those investments that you make has to stay inside the IRA, which is actually a beautiful thing. Because let's say I buy a $10,000 non-performing uh, mortgage, and the borrower starts making monthly payments uh, to my IRA of $500 a month. And now, not only do I get the $500 a month from the original mortgage, but now from that money stacking up, I can go out and buy two or three more mortgages and get another source of income or two from the remaining money. That money stacks up three times as fast and you can see the velocity of my savings and my uh, my investments. Just the velocity of, of capital is incredible. Why do only 2% of Americans have a self-directed IRA? 
The reason that I've noticed is the typical bank, the typical investment fund, they have no way of actually making money off of you when you invest in a self-directed IRA. So let's take a typical investor who knows nothing about SD IRAs. They walk into a bank and say, hey, Bank of America, what's, where should I put my money? I want to save for rent my retirement. Oh, well, let's put it into these mutual funds. And let's put it into some of these stocks that we have. And they never say, let's put it into a self-directed IRA so you can go out and buy real estate. Well, why not? Because the bank has no way of making any fees off of your investments. But they do have ways of making money off of the mutual funds that you buy through that bank. Every time you buy, they skim a little bit off of the top. Every time you trade them in and sell, they skim a little bit off the top. And while there's, there's all these load fees, uh, the bank is making money off of your investments. Simple as that. If you went out and bought a piece of real estate, there's no way that the bank can actually skim a little bit off of that real estate investment. Uh, you've got people out there, who, what, what I consider um, non-civilians. Uh, a typical civilian, what I call a civilian, is a person who is bombarded by the mass media and has no idea that these alternative investments exist. And so they're civilians. And then we've got our trained uh, investors out there that uh, are savvy with self-directed IRAs, doing all kinds of great stuff with, with, our, uh, with our IRAs. We're even gaining checkbook control. Uh, that's some really advanced uh, material. As we get into um, some of the more advanced features that take a lot longer to explain, you can, you can access that with all of our uh, Note Conference advanced training. I'd love to get into that information with you. So if you're interested in coming on board and getting into our advanced training, uh, we'd love to see you there. Uh, right below me, you can, you can use the uh, link that will take you directly to the page to check out our pro content and uh, our coaching staff, uh, our coaching material. Everything that we have about our material is second to none. If you do sign up with us, you will be working directly with me. You're not working with anyone else uh, other than just for typical support. When we're doing one-on-one -on -one training, it's one-on-one -on -one with me. And that's how I have to do it. Yeah, I can only take on a few students. That's the problem. But the training has to be 100% bulletproof. And I want to make sure that you get everything that you deserve. So listen, thanks for joining this video series. I hope you got a lot out of it. There's an awful lot more to life than meets the eye. There's an awful lot more of uh, education out there than what normal typical civilians are accustomed to. So let's get you out of civilian clothes and into some real investment strategies that are, are serious. Uh, and get into this club, and um, we'll uh, work together in the future. Again, thanks for joining the series, and we'll catch you soon.